glinting like a gem at the sea. The small island hidden in the south is where our journey begins. We're heading to Panaon Island. It's the southern tip of um, southern Leyte. We're going to assess the marine resources in the island, so that includes the fish and the coral reefs. Oceana embarked on a new scientific expedition with one goal, to protect Panaon Island, a rich coral site bejeweled with 19 marine sanctuaries. Studies on the status of coral reefs in the Philippines, like that of Dr. Wilfredo Licuanan, have shown continued decline of coral cover in the country with none in excellent condition. Astoundingly, Panaon Island's coral reefs remain to be some of the least disturbed habitats in the Philippines. Panaon Island, based on reports, show that there are um, 50 to 70 percent coral cover. It's part of the 50 priority reefs. These are reefs that will highly likely survive the negative impacts of climate change. Bloomberg Philanthropies co-founded a study to identify 50 priority reefs to help focus marine conservation efforts. These reefs, which include Panaon Island, should persist even with climate change. They aim to combat overexploitation and pollution by providing safeguards to these reefs that are less vulnerable to long-term climate change impacts and can help repopulate other reefs over time. Panaon reefs are very different. The structure of the reefs are also very diverse. Like in some areas, you will have shallow reefs that are very in very good condition. But in some areas, you have reefs from like maybe one meter all the way down to maybe 30. If you see corals that deep, it's an indicator that the water here is very rich and the coral diversity is high. Any expedition is tough to pull off, but an expedition during a pandemic requires careful and extensive planning. It is difficult, but not impossible. To ensure everyone's health and safety aboard the expedition ship, all crew and members of the team underwent testing procedures. On board, regular disinfection procedures were strictly enforced along with hand sanitation, wearing of masks, and social distancing. Strict COVID-19 health protocols were developed and implemented at every stage of the journey. So the problems I foresee uh, in the expedition is if any one of the team members uh, contract COVID before the expedition and then enter um, the vessel or the ship with the other team members who are healthy. So the biggest problem would be infection during the expedition itself and then the members not having proper medical care when they're out there doing their work during the expedition. When one or a couple of the members are infected with COVID and then you're already out there at sea, you won't have any access to medical care because of course uh, there will be no hospitals near you or a medical doctor might not be prepared to manage a case of COVID-19 pneumonia while you're at sea. Led by Oceana in the Philippines and supported by Bloomberg Philanthropies and Sobrato Philanthropies, the expedition took 21 days to complete its scientific surveys. The team included scientists and experts who assessed the overall state of Panaon's marine and coral reef system. Oceana went to Panaon on an expedition um, to see and, of course, the concerned stakeholders of the beauty and diversity of the corals in Panaon Island, and we were very successful. The objective is for Panaon Island, which is a precious gem, to be protected under our expanded National Integrated Protected Area System Act, which would give it more stability in terms of accessing financial resources, which is very important uh, for sustainable management of the protected area. The task of protecting ecologically significant marine habitats is paramount as ever, even in the face of a global pandemic, fisheries collapse, and climate crisis. Oceana's campaign to strengthen coral-rich marine protected areas highlights the significance of science in crafting policies that will restore the abundance of our oceans. 
We at the Bloomberg Philanthropies Vibrant Oceans Initiative are proud to work with such amazing partners to achieve our goal of protecting climate resilient reefs, including the Panama Island in the Philippines. The Panama Island Reef is a critical part of the Vibrant Ocean Initiative's climate resilient reef portfolio. The beauty and vibrance of Panaon's underwater treasure is unquestionable and makes protection a necessity. To ensure this, a policy declaration that will seal the strategic partnership of the national and local government units, civil society, fisher folks, and local communities is urgent and vital. We targeted several areas uh, where um, there will be assessment of the condition in the reefs. Each dive, according to the scientists, uh, part of the team was really amazing and awesome. Many of the areas that they went into, uh, the coral reefs were classified as good to excellent. Science-based policy recommendations are made possible through scientifically rigorous exploration to document, understand, and better protect our ocean's rich biodiversity. Oceana gathered a team of dedicated scientists, researchers, and support crew to gather data on coral diversity and to apply that understanding to efforts to sustain marine life. For reef fish surveys, we do the fish visual census. This is non-destructive and also non-extractive. So we go down, lay our transects, and survey fish along those transect lines in a defined area. And we identify the fish, estimate their sizes, and count how many of each size class there are. Before we went diving, some of the locals were shooing us away. You can't dive inside the sanctuary. So we had to confirm that we had coordinated with them and were doing the surveys. They were very active in apparently patrolling their sanctuary. When we got underwater, it was at this site where we found quite a bit of large fish. Schools of jacks, schools of unicorn fish. What was very unique in this place was that the fish were not afraid of the divers. For the expeditions, we have uh, 22 crew plus uh, three dive professionals, so all in all 25. I've been a lot of uh, liveaboard trips, but this one assisting the scientists, the marine biologists on their assessment on Panaon Reef is one that I'll never forget. Corals are more than swaths of vibrant colors. They're not simply just beautiful to look at. A labyrinth of corals forms a diverse ecosystem that provide food and shelter to numerous marine life, from sponges, mollusks, crustaceans, fish, and reptiles. Coral reefs are also connected to other marine ecosystems such as seagrass, mangroves, and the open sea. The main ecosystem that would help support fisheries is the coral reefs because this is where the fish live and this is where they get their food from and take shelter. But mangrove systems and also seagrass systems are important habitats because some of the fish species grow and this is where the young uh, take shelter. Coral reefs are one of the most vital ecosystems on the planet. Over a quarter of marine life on Earth depend on healthy coral reefs. Sadly, because of rising ocean temperatures and irresponsible human activities, the corals are in peril of dying out. What we did was the method of Van Oosik and Dikwanan, uh, which is a phototransect method wherein we lay five 50-meter transects randomly in a 75 by 25 meters area. So within that box, within that uh, rectangle, we lay those 50-meter transects randomly. Overall, the diversity of hard corals in this island remains high. The problem is, in some reef areas, you have monostand growths of branching corals. They cover a large section of the deeper part of the reef. So once this gets damaged, a large part of that reef area will disappear. Hand in hand with Bloomberg Philanthropies, Sobrato Philanthropies also launched an initiative on environmental sustainability. And they are here in the Philippines to support conservation of our marine resources for future generations. The Sobato family has a foundation where we make grants collectively as a family and 
historically has been mostly being focused on the Silicon Valley and giving back to where the family has made its success. And um, two and a half years ago, we decided um, as a family that we will try to address some of the issue in sustainability. And so we decided to make um, uh, a big bets and uh, some grants into the sustainability world. I mean, the mangrove and the coral reef, and especially in the Philippines, are really at the heart of this ecosystem um, for you know the, the 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 fish and the stock of the fish to replenish in this area so that everybody can have enough fish to eat and to, especially in the philippines it's an area where people are depending on uh, on the ocean a lot so this is critical you need to feed the the, the people in these communities but also um the coastal community especially in the philippines and southeast asia are um, very exposed to climate change and rising seas and stuff like that. And so mangrove and coral reef are going to protect these communities against some of the effects, not, not all the effects, but at least some of the effects of uh, climate change as well. Protection of the coral reefs is one of the priorities of the Coastal and Marine Ecosystems Management Program, or CMEM, the flagship program of our government to protect one of the greatest natural assets of the country. While Panaon Island is already recognized as a marine key biodiversity area, the area still needs to undergo extensive science-based evaluation and assessment the Philippines is in an enviable position of being at the center of the center of marine biodiversity in the world. But this great gift bears great responsibility. With the many threats to coral reefs worldwide, protecting our very own Panaon Island is of paramount importance. A safeguard policy that will enhance the conservation of our unique but vastly threatened marine ecosystems, including coral reefs, is the Expanded National Integrated Protected Area Systems Act of 2018 or the INAIPAS Act. The inclusion of Panaon as a marine protected area under INAIPAS will help ensure the island's resources for the future generations. Importante ang protection sa mga bahande sa dagat sa Panaon tungod alam sa lahutay nga panginabuhi o pagkaon sa mga tao sa panahon. Ang gobyerno sa Southern Lately nihatag o technical o financial support sa pag-establish sa mga marine protected areas. Kulang o pundo ang LGOs alang sa law enforcement. O pagkawala sa mga boundaries, markers, tungod sa abaga. Sa mga lumulupyo sa Panahon Island, palihog ang pingin ninyo ang inyong dagat kay nakita na to dire na maayo o anindot ang mga bahandi sa dagat sa Panahon. Environment protection is our vision in Southern Lake or one of our vision we adapt the program from uh, ridge to reef. We protect our mountains, uh, we plant trees, and uh, we also uh, protect our ocean and uh, shoreline. And uh, we have a Republic Act declaring entire Southern Leyte into a total Lagban area. We have support programs to protect our environment. Because of that action, um, it has cascaded to the citizens and now they are careful in ensuring that there are no threats, especially in so far as the marine sanctuaries are concerned. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why the corals are still very much pristine and in good health. So it is an example of government and citizens working together to ensure that we have the healthy and vibrant ocean 
that each Filipino and the future generation deserves to have. Partnering is uh, is ideal, but uh, we need partners who gives us trade, who helps our economy not explode. We want partners who will teach us how to be self-reliant, how to stand on our own using all these natural resources. Healthy coral reefs ultimately support artisanal fisher folk and coral reef protection aids in food security. Just like a network of corals, the life underwater is intertwined with life on land. The well-being of fisher folks and communities is anchored on abundant and healthy oceans. By declaring Panaon Island as an Inaipas protected site, we have a stronger foothold on achieving sustainable food security and poverty alleviation for the people of Panaon. The Panaon Island Expedition is more than just a 21-day journey south. In a time of uncertainty, it is a beacon of hope for the oceans and people. That's why Oceana is embarking on the campaign to have Panaon Island declared as a protected area. By doing so, it will be more resilient to the impacts of climate change. And that means people in the area or even outside of the area will stand to benefit from a healthy and resilient natural ecosystem in Panaon Island. Panaon Island is home to exceptional biodiversity. Join us on our call to protect the shore and let us declare, Panahon na ng Panaon, protektahan natin ngayon. <laughs>